What's up guys? Today's video is gonna be different. Kasi I'm gonna do my first ever challenge video which is yung mobile videography challenge. So simple lang yung rule. Lalakad ako all throughout our city and capture everything I see just using the smartphone. So before I start this challenge, I would like to introduce to you a video editing software called Filmora 9. As a video editor, we like our video editing software to be user friendly and simple. Yet can bring us the features that we need like animated titles, built-in music that will fit our project, built-in transitions, filters, and overlays. With Filmora 9, all these features are combined together and organized based on what kind of look you want to achieve. Everything is so simple, just drag and drop and you're ready to go! Okay, so let's try to put some transitions for the slips. And right now, I'm gonna choose my personal favorite, which is the Warp Zoom 3. Just drag and drop it in the middle of the clips. Let's watch this. Nice. You can get Filmora 9 for as low as 60 US dollars for a limited lifetime license. So that you can take your videos to the next level. Okay, so right now, dito ako mismo na you to get some shots. And my first tip in shooting gamit yung in your cell phone is to shoot in different perspective. Shooting with your phone with the same angle every single time is so boring. So, kung gusto mo na magandang video, then try something new. Try something na hindi yung panagagawa. Like, try mo mag low angle. Try something really close. And guess what? You can use your monopod to get those high angle shots. Or if you want, you can try so many things para ma-achieve yung shot na gusto mo. Tip number two is try to shoot a time lapse or hyperlapse. Since alam nyo na siguro kung paano mag-shoot ng time lapse, what I'm gonna do right now is mag-shoot ako ng hyperlapse. And honestly, first time ko lang din tong gawin sa phone, kaya mamaya titignan natin yung kalalabasan. Unfortunately, iPhones and Androids only offers the rule of third grid line. Wala sila nung grid na may tuldok sa gitna or intersecting lines to use as a reference point sa mag-shoot ng hyperlapse. So what I did is kumuha ko ng scotch tape, I cut a small part, then nilagay ko yun sa gitna ng screen. In that way, Yun yung magsisilbing reference point ko kada take ng picture. Isa pa, nila ko rin yung exposure at focus ng camera para in every picture, pare-pareho lang exposure. Then I took my shots for about 30 to 45 minutes. And here's the before. And here's the after. The most common question ng mga tao when shooting using their mobile phones is on how to have a smooth handle shots. So my answer for that is find the most comfortable way on how you will hold your mobile phone. So basically, there's no right or wrong way on how you will hold your phone while taking videos. But for me, may doon hindi ako komportable pag kinawakan ko siya using my both hands. Kasi minsan napipindot ko yung screen or minsan natakbang ko yung lens ng camera. So sometimes, this is what I do when I shoot using a mobile phone. Ang ginagawa ko lang is to hold my phone like this with my dominant hand and use my other hand as a support. Though, ginagamit ko lang siya kapag gusto ko ng smooth handled shots. Another tip is don't forget to clean your lens before ka mag-shoot to prevent from blurry shots. Actually, wala naman talagang rules and boundaries when shooting using your mobile phone. You just have to explore and do those things that you want to do with your future DSLR camera. Alright, so nakatapos lang namin mag-shoot. And right now, let's watch the final product. Nice! So what you just saw is yung final product ng challenge natin and fortunately, it was successful. At syempre, nag-enjoy din naman ako since it was my first ever challenge video. And guys, I did this video not only for myself, but I dedicate this video for the mobile users out there to open up your minds for new possibilities na hindi lahat ng mga ganda at malupit na video ay nakadepende sa camera. Kasi in terms of making a video, minsan kailangan mo gumawa ng mga bagay na hindi mo pa nagagawa. Minsan kailangan natin mag-step out sa ating mga comfort zone at mindset na kapag wala akong magandang camera, hindi ako makagawa ng magandang video. Yan ang pinakaiwasan nyo na mindset guys. And to end this video, I would like to challenge you guys, if game lang naman kayo ha, I challenge you to create a short cinematic video using your mobile phones. It's up to you kung ano yung shoot nyo, 20 to 45 minutes will do. And kapag ipopost nyo na, just put a hashtag MikoMobileVidChallenge sa Facebook or Instagram. And I will definitely look at your work 
and I will share it on my Facebook and IG story. See you on my next video and God bless.